hey guys it's Ray. so today i wanted to uh wish you a merry christmas and share with you this last diy so i'm just going to be making the christmas tree for that i'm going to be taking this foamy paper and just tracing the shape of my phone case on it just to have the size of it then i'm going to be making a christmas tree or just a triangle and i started by doing this but then i just changed my mind and just made it a lot shorter by just doing this but you know work with whatever size of christmas tree you want to go for this is just what worked best Best for my size of phone case then i'm going to be taking this light detail scissors and i'm going to be using this to cut the details almost leaning against the triangle for me paper at this point and then just making those cuts like that this is just so that i could get like pointy parts on the edges then once I have a, a few of them, I'm gonna be like opening them. And this is just to add some dimension to it, like it's moving. Then I'm gonna be going to my stove, working with a nice pick. So this is where I want you to be really careful because I'm using the ice pick for the uh, opposite that you're supposed to be using. That you're supposed to be using this to break ice. I'm gonna be heating this up and using it to make holes on my Christmas tree. The reason I'm doing this like this and not using a like hole puncher is because my hole puncher is like those small ones and it's like limited so I just can't reach the middle part. Just be really careful though and notice how I'm, I'm holding this like my hand is like open. I don't want anybody to be hurting themselves because of this DIY. And my hand covered the whole thing. I didn't notice until later. I'm a one woman show here and I was just too focused on like making those holes. But for the bigger holes my ice pick was a lot hotter and so it just melted my foamy paper faster and made the hole bigger. And for the other ones I just went a lot faster if, if that makes sense. Then I'm going to be taking a leftover piece of foamy paper and just make a tiny rectangle. I'm going to be painting this with my gold acrylic paint. First going with my brush like the regular one. Painting all of it including the edges and then going with this detailed brush. And I just use that to paint like inside the holes. Then I'm going to be using some black acrylic paint and just paint my phone case now mine is clear doesn't have to be at all this is the one that i'm using because it's like sturdy if i, I can find it i'm gonna link it below feel free to use a black phone case if you prefer then i'm gonna be placing everything on top as i want it to be i'm gonna be taking some glue i ran out of like super glue which is the one that i usually use and i'm using some nail glue which works fine in just gluing everything then i'm gonna be taking these two dotting tools the one on the left i bought and the one on the right i made I do have the DIY for this one and this is going to give me two sizes of dots. For the bigger ones I'm just picking my paint then just applying the dot and just taking more time as I place the dot staying there a bit longer so it creates a bigger dot. For the other one I'm going to be barely touching the surface as I place those dots so that is going to be creating a smaller dot. I think that that's all over the place. Being as random as you want, this is just resembling snow. As a final step, I did add two coats of this spray gloss. I completely forgot to record this, but yeah, working outside, wearing your gloves, this is just to add a beautiful shine and just to protect your work. But yeah, I just wanted to share this last Christmas DIY. But more than anything, I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. If you celebrate it, I hope you have an amazing time. And say goodbye, but for now. I'm going to be taking a break from filming and sharing stuff, probably until the last week of January or February. Reason being is because I'm going home and visiting my parents. I haven't been there in a while and so I just wanted to spend some quality time with them, celebrate both my parents' birthdays and hopefully I'll be back with some really cool ideas. I have some by now. But yeah, I really hope you like this. Happy holidays. Thank you so much for watching. I'll text you later and take care. Bye!